engulfing patterns and tweezers. In this video you will learn how to use dual candlestick patterns for finding market sentiment, what an engulfing pattern is and how to identify it, what tweezers top and bottom patterns are and how to identify them. Using candlesticks in conjunction with each other can indicate market sentiment by highlighting a shift in power between the buyers and the sellers. Candlestick patterns can therefore provide signals such as a reversal of price action. An engulfing pattern is a strong reversal signal made up of two candlesticks. There are two types of engulfing patterns, a bearish engulfing pattern and a bullish engulfing pattern. There are three main characteristics for spotting these patterns. The market must not be ranging. There has to be an uptrend or downtrend preceding the pattern, even if it is short term. Secondly, the body of the first candle must be smaller than the body of the second candle. It is not necessary for the second body to engulf the actual wick of the first candlestick, although this does create an even stronger signal when it does. And finally, the second candlestick body must be opposite in colour to the first candlestick body. For example, if the first candlestick is bullish, the second candlestick must be bearish. Let's have a closer look at the characteristics of a bullish engulfing pattern. You can see in this example, the market is in a downtrend. Notice the highlighted area where the first candlestick of the pattern is bearish, shown by its orange color. The second candlestick in the pattern is bullish, indicated by its blue color, and engulfs the body of the preceding bearish candlestick. These characteristics signal the reversal of the downward trend to the upside and demonstrate how the bears were overpowered by the bulls. Let's now have a look at the characteristics of a bearish engulfing pattern. You can see in this example the market is in an uptrend. Notice the highlighted area where the first candlestick of the pattern is bullish shown by its blue color. The second candlestick in the pattern is bearish, indicated by its orange color, and engulfs the body of the preceding bullish candlestick. These characteristics signal the reversal of the uptrend to the downside and demonstrate how the bulls were overpowered by the bears. Tweezer patterns are formed by two candlesticks that have matching highs or lows. As the two wicks have the same height, it has the appearance of a pair of tweezers. A discrepancy of a few pips is acceptable. There are two types of tweezer patterns, a tweezer top and a tweezer bottom. As with the engulfing candle patterns, there has to be an up or down trend preceding the pattern. The market must not be ranging. Tweezer tops are formed by two candlesticks that have matching highs and can help spot a trend reversal. You can see in this example that the market is in an uptrend. The upper wick of the first candle shows signs of the buyers losing momentum. The upper wick of the second candlestick in the pattern represents a second attempt by the buyers to continue pushing price up and then being overcome by the sellers. The wicks are of equal length and the highs are at the same level. These characteristics can signal the reversal of the uptrend to the downside and demonstrate how the bulls were overpowered by the bears. Tweezer bottoms are formed by two candlesticks that have matching lows and can help spot a trend reversal. You can see in this example that the market is in a downtrend. The lower wick of the first candle shows signs of the sellers losing momentum. The lower wick of the second candlestick in the pattern represents a second attempt by the sellers to continue pushing price down and then being overcome by the buyers. The wicks are of equal length and the lows are at the same level. These characteristics can signal the reversal of the downtrend to the upside and demonstrate how the bears were overpowered by the bulls. Keep in mind that the bodies or wicks do not have to be exactly the same size or even in consecutive order. Here we see a tweezers pattern with a candlestick in between. The important aspect when looking for a tweezers pattern is two wicks with equal highs or lows, indicating that either the buyers or the sellers were eventually overcome after a trend, indicating a potential reversal. So far you have learned that dual candlestick patterns can indicate a change in trend, but not necessarily an immediate or significant reversal. In an engulfing pattern, the body of the first candlestick must be smaller than the second one and the color of the second candlestick body must be opposite in color to the first candlestick body. And finally, for a tweezer top or bottom, the wick of the second candlestick has matching highs or lows with the first candlestick's wick.